channel today. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day as always. Also, I want to point out real quick, thank you very much for all the sweet comments that you guys left on yesterday's video about my allergic reaction. Definitely feeling a lot better now. I'm not even sure what caused it, but I am grateful for your guys' comments because it gave me a lot of great feedback. I don't think it was anything I ate because everything I've eaten so far has been something I've already had out here in Utah. So I don't think it's anything to do with eating. So I think I might have gotten bit right there or maybe I got allergic from like Louie because he we picked him up from his groomers. Michelle said that there's cats in the house and I am allergic to cats. So I don't know if maybe like cat hair got on Louie and then that got on me and that made me allergic. But usually like cat hair stuff is like pretty instantaneous. Whereas we picked up Louie and then it happened like hours later. So anyways, I had no idea, but I am feeling 100% better now. Brittany, however, is not. Unfortunately, she is not here with me right now because last night, you guys, she did not sleep a wink. I feel awful. She actually got, I think, food poisoning or like a stomach bug or something like that because she has been throwing up all morning long. I guess in true Jared and Britt fashion, something happens to one of us, in this case, to both of us. I get an allergic reaction and she gets food poisoning. We did our best to take care of her this morning. She's resting right now. She's been drinking a ton of liquids, trying to get some electrolytes back into her body. We actually had some really fun plans today to hang out with Jet and Lynn's kids and help them out with some stuff. Go help them run some errands. Brittany obviously is not feeling well. She said, you know what? I just need a rest. You go, you go help them out. So I'm actually on my way right now to go pick up the kids, run them to some soccer tryouts and then help out wherever else I'm needed. We got Ashton. We're taking him right now, by we, I mean me. Taking him to do soccer tryouts because these guys are gonna get scholarships here pretty soon. That's how yeah. good they are. Oh my gosh. What's up? Yeah. Yep. So Turn was just telling me he's trying out, he's tried out for three soccer teams and he's hoping to make one that's nationals as well as the one he made last year. Is that right? Yeah, it's currently raining, so let's hope that doesn't cancel the tryouts. So yeah, sorry. you know? I, uh, I mean, that'd be great if they canceled them. I'm tired of them. <laughs> How many tries have you done, Ashton? I've done two. Two? I've done surf and another club. Wait, surf? Like you're surfing? Yeah. No. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. So yeah, I guess you'll... And then I have two more today. Good for you, man. I just pulled up to pick up Ashton, about to find out how he did for with his tryouts. There he is. How'd you do, man? Good. All right, you guys. So I played actually really good. I had made really good passes. I made really. I had a lot of goals actually. I surprised myself today. Ew. So I was just jumping around all over, and um, overall, out of ten, I'd probably give myself like a seven and a half, eight maybe. Dude. So I played pretty good. That's amazing. But my bet, the best thing that happened to me today was this guy picking me up. Yo! And I actually missed your turn, so I'm flipping around. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've got to go to a Celtic tryout. Um, and I'm probably going to play even better on that one because. Dude. I don't know. I just believe in myself. <laughs> I love it, man. You're stuck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, basically quick update. I picked up the kids, took them to their soccer tryouts, which is pretty darn cool. I mean, they're competing for a lot of different like teams, which is awesome. Once I got done dropping off Turin, I actually had to turn right back around, pick up Ash and take him to a friend's house. And now Turin's finished with his soccer trial, so I'm off to go pick him up. Okay, I just dropped off Turin back at the house. Decided to come back home, check up on Brittany. When I got there, she's actually sleeping, which is really good news just because she didn't sleep at all last night. So it's really good to see that she is sleeping right now. I decided to take Finn and Louie out on a quick little walk. It's kind of funny, Finn doesn't like walks when it rains outside and it rained a little bit earlier, which is also ironic because this morning the weather was like perfect and then it started to rain. But anyways, when I went to go grab these guys to go for a walk, Lou was all about it. He was like super excited to get out. But Finn, like he's been a little bit more reluctant. <laughs> I guess you could say. But anyways, I am so happy that Brittany is resting right now. 
now. Cute Michelle and Daniel, they've been absolutely amazing and so kind to Brittany, taking care of her while I was away, doing those errands for Lindsay and Judd. They've also been taking such great care of Brittany. They've been making her toast, they've been getting rice crackers and drinks and chips. And they've just honestly been amazing, like so incredibly thoughtful. And when I got back actually, they were playing with Finn just because he's been sitting around pretty much all day. I wasn't able to take him with me. And you know, Brittany's not able to be out and about right now. And so it was so sweet because they're playing fetch with Finn and Louis, just back and forth within their bedroom and in the halls. And it was like the cutest thing in the world. I love that he was able to get his energy out. And I have to admit, it is so cute to see the two of them play together. They're like the best of friends. I am back in the car. I am actually gonna go get some grub for myself. Um, cute Brit, she just really isn't feeling so hot. And she said that she doesn't wanna be on camera today just because of how she's feeling, which is completely understandable. I mean, if I was in her same position, I wouldn't wanna be on camera either. And as you guys know, I've had my fair share of not feeling so hot, especially when it comes to throwing up. I don't think anyone really wants to <laughs> talk on camera after that. But she does want you guys to know that she loves you, she misses you, she's sad that she's not able to be in today's video, but she is feeling better, which is good. She hasn't had to go to the bathroom or thrown up or a little bit. She's able to keep a little bit of food down, which is good as well. She said that the nap that she got was really nice is because she didn't get to sleep at all yesterday, as you guys know. So I'm hoping by tomorrow she's going to be feeling a little bit better. Food poisoning can tend to last a couple days, so hopefully by tomorrow she's good to go. We did have some plans tomorrow night. Maybe we'll have to postpone it until Saturday or maybe not this trip, but hey, that's okay because first and foremost, we just want to make sure that Brittany is taken care of, that she's okay, and that she's able to rest, relax, and recover from food poisoning because it's not fun. It just definitely is not fun. But that's going to do it for us tonight, you guys. We love you so much, and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.